Good morning fellow option traders, this is Jeff and you are currently watching the daily scan for Monday, May 5th, 2014. Okay, so um, it was an interesting day on Friday, but let's take a look at, we'll recap that when we get over there and take a look at the A-plus list. Uh, let's take a look at today's scheduled possible market affecting news announcements and the only thing out here is the ISM non-manufacturing index and that makes things move along a little bit faster of course a lot of people saw the uh, unemployment report and heard about it on Friday it was good it was bad kind of all depends on who you listen to but I can tell you that from my perspective I I believe there is over 800,000 people in the U.S. that dropped out of the labor force um, for the, the month of April. That's 800,000. And I also believe that number does not include those who quote-unquote retired and um, went on Social Security. So these are just people that just dropped out of the labor force for one reason or another probably mostly because they couldn't find a job I don't know how people can eat <laughs> you know I don't know how that works exactly but uh, be that as it may that's where we're at right now a couple things to take a look at here in the news from market watch is um, well stock prices are always based on being optimistic or pessimistic so I don't see anything shocking in this announcement but Stephen Hawking is warning about artificial intelligence and I just uh, can't but help but always think back to the science fiction books that I read in my early adulthood and teen years I was uh, a big science fiction lover I guess you could say and, you know, this kind of thing about artificial intelligence, there's been plenty of books written about it uh, where it's good and bad, but I don't think we need any in in, uh, competition for intelligence. Because um, we have enough problems of our own, we don't need to add more to it. <laughs> Anyway, uh, let's take a look at the futures across the ponds. Over in Asia, we are, well, kind of for the most part, bearish. A uh, few little op optimistic pops here. And in Europe, pretty much bearish across the board, except for the FTSE 100. All right, let's jump over and take a look at what's going on on our side of the pond. The futures in the U.S. actually looking slightly better than what they were when I first came here and took a look at it. Um, we are really solidly bearish for currently and possibly for the open this morning. Gold is uh, up significantly overnight, $10, almost $11, and oil is at $100. So I filled up yesterday. I paid three sixty-five or something around there. So it did come down about ten cents last week. Uh, that was pretty much my monthly fill-up. If that, it might be five weeks. I'm not sure if it's every like every four or five weeks somewhere around there. It's good to be retired as well and not have to jump into that daily commute to work. Oh, man. Uh, I'm not retired because I've been wildly successful at trading options. I retired because I'm old enough to retire, so um, that's where I'm at with that. Okay, um, let's take a look here just quickly. Um, LinkedIn came back. We were about down $700 last week, and it's showing well and we'll take a look at that chart as we go through the A plus list and then we got into Celgene and F5 networks on Friday and we will talk briefly about that okay close that one up open this one let's jump right over to our scan oh wait a minute okay 
Um, I want to recap last week. And here we came in at $657 with only three trades. And the biggie one here was the Russell. So here is FedEx. We uh, got in on the 28th for $0.45 cents and out on the 1st for $0.25. Cents. And then Tesla. Uh, and there's the numbers on that one. With a strike, uh, short strike at 207 and a half, and then the Russell we got out on Friday just because, well, I didn't want to hold. I had a lot in this one. There was five here, and I didn't want to uh, um, take that risk over the weekend. I didn't know what was going to happen. In retrospect, hindsight's always twenty twenty. It would have, uh, according to the way things are going to open this morning, it would have even pulled in even more money, but this was good enough for me. So you can see that, um, just looking at the numbers here in each column, that I'm starting to get in a little deeper with more positions as I build confidence myself in my own system. Um, I didn't want to uh, blow up my account in front of everybody here. You know, because really I haven't li the live trading in this CSS V2 didn't really happen until I introduced the course to everybody. I mean, not fully 100%. So I wanted to be careful. I didn't want to blow anything up. And so here we are. Now, um, we're ready to rock and roll. So we did pretty good last week. So now we're at uh, $2,700 for the year. And we just added three winners here. So we're now we're 29 and 19. All right, that's that. Now we can jump to our chart, I think. All right, here's Apple. Apple's coming down into our target area here. We'll move it, slide it over a little bit, see if it hits it probably will looking at the way things are moving this morning and Apple looks like as though it's going to open down a tad bit and if it does that then it will become a setup however I'm just not sure still not sure you're gonna lose three dollars and 29 cents the morning of five eight here all right, Amazon. Um, we have a potential setup here. We don't. Yeah, we have a setup, almost alertable, but we have a setup here on Amazon. And looking at the way things are going to open this morning, and the way Amazon may open, um, it's probably going to be tradable this afternoon and just looking at the futures we're probably going to find a lot of setups this morning that's just my guess okay here's a 20 delta setup on Boeing we have this marked in yellow so this is a 20 delta and we're, we're not doing so many calendars anymore, but we're doing these 20 deltas. And then we'll condorize them once the stochastic moves down here. Uh, and we're just basing this on it's kind of flat and it's not doing anything. So when we get an upswing on the stochastic, we will go ahead and do a 20 delta once we get our hook. And then when it comes back down again and gives us another hook down in the 20 to 30 area, uh, we will do, we will condorize it if we're still in it by doing a bull put on it. And we'll see how those work out. So I have it noted here as a 20 delta for today. So for Baidu, uh, we have this also as a 20 delta and it is in setup mode right now. 
So we'll look at that later today, cell gene. We are in cell gene with a 20 delta. You can see that we did it here. Um, I wanted a little bit of extra padding with cell gene because it can make some really crazy moves. So I was able to collect enough premium on this to satisfy me. So with cell gene, we're in with four of them. Let's take a look at the Analyze tab and the risk profile. So we uh, have 300 to 2133. Oh, no, no, that's not right. I would never do that. <laughs> okay, we have 227 here and uh, a, a, roughly $1,000. So we have 200 to 1,000, and that is a 5 to 1, which was, I was happy with that. So you can see here that we collected, uh, let's see, a dollar minus 42, that'd be 58 cents each on these. So I did four of them. All right, Chipotle, we are not live in that at all. This is a, we are in setup here with Chipotle. I would definitely do a 50 delta on that one. Thus the reason for the white target. All right, Costco, nothing live on that one. Uh, right, we have nothing going on here with Costco at the moment. may have, I don't know, this is kind of weird looking, isn't it? This is definitely, there's something going on here. Strange. I'm not going to dwell on it right now. We'll just keep an eye on it, but that's really strange. CVX. Chevron. Uh, we had earnings last week. They didn't do so hot. Market shrugged it off. And now we're ready to put it back on our active list. DIA, we don't really trade that one. There's just no premium in that thing. Um, we just want to look at the Dow. And the Dow looks like it's going to open down a tad this morning. So we might have a... Um, I'm going to change this to a 20, well, I don't know about a 20 delta because there's no money in that with DIA either. This would have to be a, a 50 delta pure CSS V2 trade. So I'll wait for that one to develop. Still needs a little bit more time. Igor, uh, we had a failure here. Glad I didn't get into it. I think we might be headed for a reversal here. And we have earnings. Is that today? Yes. FedEx, we were in last week. We can delete all our drawings here. So now this, uh, is this a 20 delta? Look at this. Up, bang, down, up, bang. Is it gonna come down? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. I'm going to throw a target in down here just because that's we are in an uptrend and that's where we would be looking for our next entry. F5 networks were in. And we got in, there's, uh, we got in on five of them. This was a 20 delta also. If you look at the chart briefly, I decided to make this a 20 delta because I wanted to get in on Friday. Um, so we are in here with five of them for a hundred bucks. So it looks like we got 20 cents on each one, which is what it comes out to down here. 20 cents and we have, uh, we're at a hundred and we have 400 at risk. So that's about a four to one risk reward ratio on that one. So that was pretty good. So, and the reason, you know, on Friday, I just did not want to do a 50 delta trade. So, I did a 20 on this. So, I am going to just change this color to yellow. 
Okay. Gold. Uh, yeah, I was going to do this, or I did do it, I'm not sure. I don't think, yeah, I did, and it worked out well. Why is that not on my sheet? I think, did I get out here? I'm going to have to check on this. Um, I don't remember or recall that being in my spreadsheet. So I will check on that and report back tomorrow. But I can tell you also right now that I'm going to move this over because this is a 20 delta here. And that's what I would do. So I'm going to yellowize that or make it a 20 delta. And look at that for today. Okay, Google. We didn't, uh, I wanted to do a 20 delta on this and I couldn't get to my price. So, pretty much gave up on it for Friday. Would have been sweet, huh? And it looks like as though it's going to continue to work out. But, uh, unfortunately, um, I couldn't get my price. So, I guess you could say, well, we still have one more day on this so I'm putting it in because we remember no more than three days here's one day here's the second day so no more than three days so we're ready we could be ready to get in on this as a 20 Delta and as a matter of fact I may just do both a 50 Delta and a 20 Delta on this because really it qualifies as both so let me change this back to white. I was thinking, where is white? Oh, it's over here. I don't know why they don't have it on that little one. Um, yeah, this is a nice setup for a 50 delta, so I'll probably do both, because I trade the 20 deltas in one account and the 50 deltas in another account. All right, IWM. Uh, this is a 20 delta setup. So I'm going to put a little circle in here. Circle gets a square or whatever it is that he says. So that I would set that. I would do that one as a 20 delta. And expiration probably regular May expiration which is uh, the week uh, the next Friday after this coming Friday okay um, LinkedIn all right I have my uh, we are in the money here on this oh that should not be in the money yeah it's in the money no it's not in the money The put is at 150. And this one in the wrong place. Yeah, this should be at 150. Maybe I had a break even in there or something. I have no idea. But here it is at 150. Um, so now we're in the money on this long put and I'm starting to crawl back to profitability and hopefully it will follow the rest of the market the way it's looking right now this morning and I can get the heck out of it for some sort of profit possibly but is there anything else going on with LinkedIn oh yeah we are in an alertable situation here this is an alert so let's go ahead and throw one out there Okay, so on alerts we look to get in in the morning, um, provided it moves in our direction. And the alert is triggered, but not before 10 o'clock, ideally. Alright, so uh, 3M, what's going on with them? Uh, they are in a 
pretty strong move here and we're waiting for an entry down here Netflix I just want to move along a little quicker right now we are in a setup here for a 50 Delta all right price line We are in a setup for a 50 delta. We have earnings this week, and maybe we can just um, become profitable before their earnings actually come up, which we would have five, six. We would have three days on it, which is probably all the length of time that we would want to be in it anyway. So that's a 50 delta. Okay, we're almost done, folks. The cues. We're in the queues. We're waiting for this to work out a little bit. This was a, um, was this a 20 delta? Why did I do this? I'm not remembering exactly. You know, it must have been a 20 delta back at this time. And it was, took the opposite trade on this. That was kind of weird. But uh, looks like it's going to open down today. It's got an expiration of this week, so this 20 delta would have been more appropriate here. I don't know what the heck I was doing there, or what I was thinking when I got into this trade, but looks like it's going to work out. Uh, so for right now, oh, this is definitely another 20 delta on the queues. I don't think with these indexes things here, I, I would do not do a 50. I would do a 20 with the um, ETFs based on indexes. So that's what I would do here. So I'm going to throw, let me throw this up here and actually kind of right there. And then we'll change it to a yeller. And there we have it. We'll get in again on this. All right, the Russell wouldn't mind getting in again on this one. Uh, and here we are, we'd be at $421 this morning, or $412 this morning. But we're starting over again, and we have a setup here for a 20 delta in the opposite direction. So let's delete all drawings. Who knows what's back there in the past. We'll throw a target in here. And we're going to make it yellow for a 20 delta. That's what we would do on indexes for sure. And all we're trying to do really with the 20 deltas is to give us more trading opportunities. A little less risk, or a little less reward at the same time. All right, uh, spiders, is this a 20 delta? I'm looking at resistance here. Um, is this a 20 delta? I'm just, uh, definitely this would be the third day here on this. It may move a little bit too far away from us. I'm going to throw it on the list anyway because I'm going to definitely want to take a look at it. So this would be, I'll move that up there. No, I actually want to make another one. And we'll drag it down here and we'll make this one yellow. Oops. And then maybe we'll condorize it down here if, uh, when we get down there. We'll see. All right. Here we have TLT, which we are in with a couple of them. We have, and where is expiration on these? Okay, one is normal May expiration and one is actually the week after expiration. So we're in uh, double on this one. We just kept uh, accumulating and adding to it, and chances are it's probably going to move up today as well. 
but I don't think we're going to add anything more to it at this time. So we'll just uh, count our blessings on that one. This is an old Tesla trade uh, that we were in that was successful. Let's delete all drawings. And we have earnings coming up this week. And I don't think we're going to have enough time. This is only two days. So it would be actually a day and a half is how long we would be in it. And that's, I'm not feeling good about that. I want to see what happens with their earnings. And then uh, UNP, we are in here with a 20 delta. And we have uh, $200 reward and thirteen hundred dollars risk kind of stretching it on UMP a little bit so we did four of them and we collected let's see 57 51 cents a piece uh, and that wasn't too bad and we risked five dollars so that's about a ten to one roughly and let's take a look at the chart and there we are with the chart um, not sure what's going to happen today with the depressed market but uh, we'll see how this plays out 20 delta because we came down here and actually this was uh, this particular day here that I entered that this was Wednesday A little bit late on that one so that one may not work out and last but not least thinking about doing a visa last week it didn't work out this is a alertable situation on visa so we are going to throw an alert in here And that would be for a bear call. All right, so that's it for today. Sorry we ran a little bit long again, but I think it's going to be a busy day today. So uh, keep your head down and your eyes wide open. And good luck in any trades you might do. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and happy trading. Thank you.